Hey guys, this is Heather and this is a quick introduction to our Traitix AI Summary Dashboard. So although we have Stocks Dashboard, we have an Options Dashboard and we have Crypto Dashboard, there was some information that was driven entirely by AI that we wanted to keep in a separate dashboard and this dashboard is actually for that purpose. So what this dashboard does is it aggregates some information from a bunch of AI tools and it then shows all of all of that information in a single place. So we'll start from the top. You can see that there are four cards, each telling you how our AI tool that's based on stocks or that's based on options thinks about that stock, both for swing trading and for intraday trading. So the first one is swing stock AI that uses price section and technical analysis to figure out where the price might move. So for, for SPY, the, the price action based AI thinks that in a swing trading setting, the price might move down a little bit because the confidence score is really low. Then based on options AI or based on uh, options flow analysis, uh, the tool thinks that uh, the, the price might just consolidate here a bit and that's why you we are seeing neutral here. Then based on price action of intraday, we can see that the tool is again bearish. So it thinks that in the next one or two days, the price might actually go down for SPY. And then we have an intraday options AI that again has, has no opinion about where the st stock might move. So what we are trying to see from these four ca ca cards is we want to see similar predictions from all the tools. Sometimes you might see that predictions are different. So the swing stock AI might be completely different from swing options AI. That happens because the underlying data sources are completely different. The stock AI tool is built on top of price action and technical analysis and the options tool is built on top of options flow. So if the underlying data is different, then the predictions or the trade ideas are going to be different again. So just know that because many users see different predictions from the tools and they think that the, the tools are not working or uh, how, how can this happen? So there is a reason behind that. And if that's happening, then we recommend that you stay away from those stocks because the price section and options flow are contradicting each other and that's not a good sign. We want to find setups that are high probability and having contradictory predictions from our tools is not a good sign for us. So next, we have a combined prediction from all the cards that you see here. So this should always either be red with high probability or green with high probability. Then we have the simulated prices. So the, these are the same simulated prices that we saw here just in a slightly different format and again we want to use these to find lower and upper uh, intervals on where the price might move let's see if we can find something okay so for clove it thinks that the price might move down so uh, a really important point to remember here is that since these future projections or future simulations are based on historical data if the historical data suddenly becomes invalid so for clove let's see we have been going down since the very start of this year, but suddenly we have started to go up. But since most of the previous price action has gone down, the tool might think that the price will continue going down. So most of most often it works well with stocks that have a lot of historical data, such as Apple, Spy, and Facebook. But if there is a new stock, then you might see these uh, jerky predictions where the, the margins are quite wide because the tool is just not enough confident about where the price might move. So just keep that in mind. If cloth goes up tomorrow, d d don't think that the tool is invalid since it's looking at historical data and whatever has happened in the history, it thinks that might happen again in the future with similar stats. So since cloth moves a lot, uh, uh, intraday you can see that these margins are white but since spy moves just a little bit every day you can see that the margins for spy are pretty thin so so th so, so that's sort of the uh, the basis the, the basics of how the tool works and i just want everyone to keep this in mind when looking at these simulations next we have the historical combined predictions from 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 the last few weeks so this just gives you an idea on how the market might behave or how the trend has been changing. Then we have, uh, this is not really a useful widget in terms of it just tells you 
what's the maximum risk or reward for that stock in a day what we want from here is we always want to see a higher reward at least 1.5 times the risk here we can see that the potential reward and risk are almost the same so this is not really a good setup to go into here we can see that the potential reward is about 3% 2% higher than the risk so that's that's better but we want to see something let's see if we can find something so we can see so here the the difference is about 4 to 5 percent for neo and so this this might be a better setup than some of the other setups that we just went into let's go back to spy again then here we have the sector prediction based on our uh, swing stock here so this is just based on one tool that tells you where the entire st uh, sector uh, where the entire sector might move in the next few days so that's pretty useful if you want to find trends in sectors then you you might need to look into this sector prediction every day then we have some hedging suggestions based on our ai tools where if you want to go bearish on this stock so if you want to follow the combined predictions what are some of the positions that you can take in order to hedge your position so th this is pretty easy to follow you just follow what this is saying you, you buy this ticker you, you take a bullish position and this is the confidence that our tools has our tools have then we have the the important news so although we have a tool called trade sent with a lot more news we also have these most important news for every ticker in this dashboard where you actually see what the the news is about so we have the, these rumors we have the, the the market related news so sometimes there are some mergers and acquisitions and this stock dashboard this trade tricks dashboard is going to catch them and those are really useful to know so that was a quick introduction to our Traditics AI Summary Dashboard. I think that's it for, for this dashboard. This is a fairly simple dashboard, but it's, it's a really useful one. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.